First and foremost, I will give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash, double honors and apostles and elders and great millstone who will well and will constantly learn this hundred percent truth from. Yahweh is the name of a heavenly father. That means he, Yahweh means he is this, he, he to be the name of his only begotten son. This is the first spirit created is Yahweh Shai. His name means Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. <coughs> Bahashem in the name Bakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, and that was Paleo Hebrew. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakakwadash, double honors, and possibly others of great millstone who boot will, who will constantly learn in the sun and send truth from. <coughs> This is for the whole free left, which are you so called nibbles, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth. Let's mingle within the other nations to mean it like the other nations, other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back on your father's side from to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are the true Hebrew Israelites, and the Bible speaks of. Okay. No. Our people are, uh, well, let's say, put it this way, the people of this age are doing the same things they have done back in the days of Noah, when he was prophesying, and they went on about their daily lives and kept doing what they were doing and without heeding the message. But when that time came, it was too late for them. Well, guess what? That's the time we in now. Okay. This is on uh, we on this report and it says the Argentinians Report zero captivity to save as inflation tops 104% and poverty rises by 40%. Okay. And I, I don't know what percentage of those people are Hebrew Israelites. Nevertheless, they are, and they would be from the tribe of Naphtali, Naphtali, and that's the Argentinians, the Chileans. Okay, you see it on the chart. Okay, so. This is where we at. The starting high was revealed by the nation's official statistics agency on Friday. And this is April 15, 2023. Now I haven't read, you know, proof read or whatever, but um, it's evident that inflation is high everywhere because this is the end of the age, of Esau Edom's age. Okay. This is his end. Uh, let's, get, let's get to that. Okay. This is evident who's running this place. And all of that I just told you is, is here, and these people don't understand it or they, they don't have the, they really don't have the eyes out to see what's going on. But we do. Job 9, 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges throughout. If not, where and who is he? Okay, now. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Who faces you see on this right here? 
I'm his petrol dollar. You know? Who faces you see? Okay. The so called white man you saw either. Okay. He covered the faces of the judges. This image is supposed to be the Heavenly Father. But you see that's blasphemy. You look at it. All of that. Look at this. He covered the faces of the judges. You know? Here's another, here another image. Look at that. He went in the so-called Americas, North America, and he went in and enslaved the Northern Kingdom. They took their land, their landmarks also. You see who faces up there? Okay. You see who faces up there? Mount Rushmore. It's the most Mount Rushmore National Memorial is one of the most iconic landmarks. Look at that word iconic. Let's look at that. Relating to or the nature of an icon, regarded as a representative symbol or as a worthy and as worthy as veneration. She became an iconic figure for directors around the world. Okay? And as you notice, you don't see no other image. You don't see a, a Chinese image of this. You don't see a uh, Filipino uh, image of this. You don't. You don't see a, uh, a, a Chinese image. So what is that telling you? Okay. It's common sense. At least it should be. Let's see, while all this going on, people here don't think that it's going to happen. You know, because they've been lied to by the rulers of this world because it was set up like that. By your house, by your house, you see. Look at this. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is he? Okay. Yeah, and right now, uh, uh, we also know that through uh, the other business process of Great Mills going on down, you know, all this wickedness has been uncovered. All of East High Eagles' wickedness has been uncovered. Okay? Joe 20 and 27. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. Okay. And you see that going on now because of uh and you got these countries coming up against them. You saw Edom. He's being isolated. This country is being isolated. Because they found out about all the Treachery that Esau Edom has done in which these banking families. How did you think all these drugs and everything else got over here? Okay, how did you think these guns got over here? How did you, who did you think set all of this up? Okay. So, that time is coming for this age to, to end. This wicked age. Okay. Yeah. 
Luke 17 and 26. It's been in red, I mean. I know Yahweh Shai saying this. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days <clears throat> of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of the Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold and planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. And he's been revealed through the internet, they, through the tongue falling on each other, they telling on each other. Everybody knows. There's no hiding no more. He saw even so called white man, which he needs banking problems. There's no more hiding. Okay? Just, you know, we've been found out. You know, and while they're partying, everybody's partying and getting set for these hot days of summer, so be it. You do that. Because some more hot days come and you ain't going to be ready for it. And it's called the ICBM missile. But first, before that, you got to take a trouble coming. Along with that, at the same time, you got the karama coming down. And it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a mad house of anarchy. The real purge. I was one of 24. Because I have a call and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand. No man regarded. But you have said that not. Not all my counsel with. None of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation. Your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish coming unto you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That's Proverbs 1 and 24. The 28. 29 verse, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the most high Yahweh. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. And evil mean bad times. Okay. And this is just the beginning. It just haven't hit yet here. Not the way it's gonna be gonna hit. Okay. Has any days of knowing. Okay. And that's why you should be getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, so is his treasure. Yep. The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, so he's only begotten son. Is his treasure. Okay? You gotta remember that. 
So you gotta get this while you can. Because the doors are closing. People just running around here talking this and that, and they're not even in the scriptures, but they think they are because they can't break away from the system. You know, so Romans 10 and 1 Brother, my heart's desire prayed to the Most High Yahweh. By some house I for Israel is that they might be saved. Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. Verse 10 and 3. For they be ignorant of the Heavenly Father Yahweh's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay. So, you have to learn this. And I found that in these scriptures and listening and learning from the other business apostles of uh, GMS teachers on down, that this is an ongoing uh, learning process because you have to wipe away all the all of those years of being indoctrinated in the speech system which was meant to destroy you. Okay. So I have to, you know, speaking for me first and foremost, I have, to, I have to keep in the scriptures. You have to keep in the scriptures because they are our salvation. But, you know, they also, it's also our comfort. Okay. That's in the days of Noah. You know, Luke 17, 29, but the same day, and it's in red letters, and that's in your house I speak, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, and he has been revealed. He has already been revealed. And how is, how is he being revealed to the prophets? And how was in byways? Through the internet. He's been revealed. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Everybody knows. So, with that being said, Job 20 and 27, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart and his, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. They have who rap? They have side rap. Okay. The Halabai Sin Yahweh side. 29. Job 20, 29. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side. And the heritage are pointed unto him by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And they'll see this is the reward that the Heavenly Father Yahweh gives the wicked. It is the inheritance decreed by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay. And 
know, but uh, people rejected this knowledge. They rejected it. For behold, Joel 3 and 1, will be behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, and this is Israel, southern and northern king, I will gather all nations, I will gather together, I will gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, the harvest of fire. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Okay? Pleading. It's not plead. It's not, you know, you're not going to beg. You know, he, he, he's going to destroy. Okay? And will gather the armies of the world into the valley of the house of pot. That I will judge them for harming my people, my special possession, for scattering my people among the nations. And for dividing up the land. And, and you know, we in this predicament because of sin. We turned our backs on Yahweh by sin. Yahweh sites, so guess what? He turned his back on us and he scattered us. You know, because of how we listen, as in Deuteronomy 1 to the uh, 14 verse, we'd have been all right. But we didn't. So therefore, we have to suffer the curses in Deuteronomy 15 on down. You know, and the last one was Deuteronomy. Uh, uh, 28, uh, uh, 68. Okay. Verse 3, Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You know, so you got a lot to pay for you. So we so far, why many rich and we begging families? You're going to pay. Matter of fact, nobody is going to escape. Two thirds. Nobody is going to escape. As in the days of Noah. Nobody but the elect. Nor will it. I pray that I'll be one of those men. Okay. Again, this is for the whole elect of Israel, not for anybody else. No heathen nations. It's only for the whole elect of Israel, which your lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from your father's side. Okay. going down, you know, we know what's happening, we know what's going on, you know, and there comes some studying, getting this uh, wisdom and honesty, you won't be caught out here, at least Satan, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, so that Satan would not outsmart us, but we are familiar with his evil schemes, and how do you get familiar with by studying, learning, Listening. No. And then also you have to apply what you learn, study, and listen to. You have to apply it. I know I say this first and foremost for me. You know, because it took me a while to get into, you know, to, to get into a good habit of uh, walking in what I was taught, you know, and still being taught. Okay. Now, uh, let me get one more than them.
let's go to uh you know you see this and it's gonna get to the point where family are gonna sit in you know because nobody's listening they taking everybody's taking everything for granted you know they, they chose not to listen and come up under the uh protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh side okay so with that let's go to uh second is a 16. And 19, and Apocrypha. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wicked, for the, you know, from their wickedness. Nor will be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be good cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be a good case. And even then shall evil score upon earth. Swore of famine and great confusion. That's what you see coming, you know, what you see going on now and it's coming. And it's got to get heavy. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall, shall the sword destroy. You know, we're talking about everything is going to be happening. And it's going to be happening all at once. You know, and it's going to be mad chaos, anarchy. People are going to be kicking in your doors. You know, you put one bean in a pot, they're going to hear that bean hit the bottom of that pot, and they're coming for it. You know, that's just a, you know, that's no big dramatic, but they're coming for you and what you got. You know? Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. The dead shall be cast out and as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Okay? There's going to be a lot going on. You know, so... You have to, uh... Get up under the hands and protection of Yahweh Mahas and Yahweh Shah. Okay? But remember... When they implement that, make it mandatory for uh, Revelation 13 and 16, the Take you and, and if you take it, you'll be destroyed, you know. So. You don't want to take the Quran in Revelation 13, 16. You don't want to take that. Okay? Because you become a slave to them and you you finish. All right, let me hurry up because I, I've been, I went over. <clears throat> but as in the days of Noah. Noah. Okay? The same thing that happened then is going to happen again. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, I will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouths. Okay? A lot of people don't believe that. They don't believe it. You know, but I got one more scripture. Those are the ICBMs. Those thermonuclear missiles. And if you've been watching the news, you've seen what's going on. But that's going to be it. That's going to be the war to end all wars. And I say that because the scripture I'm looking at... Looking for okay, let's see. Yep, Isaiah nine to five. You know, because in the old days, this is how wars was fought in the ancient days, and all the way up to World War Two, somewhat. 
For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and a few of fire. Okay? And that's those. Burning, a few of fire, that's those thermonuclear missiles. Okay? And you did have your, you know, some wars you did have your napalm that was burning fuel and fire, you know. You burnt your skin off. But see, this war that's coming that the homicide has set up, that decree that's coming, it's going to be thermonuclear destruction. Along with the chariot shooting out those concentrated light beams, those lasers. Okay. So, let's go to Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render, to to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. See, the Lord Yahweh is coming with fire, and his swift chariots roar like a whirlwind. He will bring punishment with the fury of his anger and the flaming fire of his hot rebuke. Them chariots at the so-called UFO, but we know them as. The IFO identified flying objects. We know that the chariots are Yahweh by and Yahweh side, okay? Verse 16. But by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh will be many. The Heavenly Father Yahweh by and Yahweh side will punish the world by fire and by his sword. He will judge the earth, and many will be killed by him. So, now you know. Okay? So, that's the Sierra kind of effect. As in, uh, what's that movie? Uh, uh, I can't even think of that movie. With Arnold Schwarzenegger and, uh, what's the name of that movie? I can't think of that movie right offhand. So. So let me get to uh, one more scripture to close it out on. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is his treasure. Okay? So, you have to remember that stated scripture. You build your, your, your heart up, which is your, your, your mind, love. Build that up for what's coming. You know, so... As in the days of Noah, while they're out there gearing up because of the weather, it's nice weather, you know, they're not even thinking about the judgments that's coming upon this earth. They're not thinking about the famine. They're not thinking about anything but pleasing themselves, pleasing that flesh. Okay, that right there will destroy you. Okay. Because you're going to forget about the whole body and the hollow side. Like, you know, like, as Joshua said, choose this day whom you may serve. You know, just roughly paraphrasing it. Let me see.
Look at Joshua 24 and 14. Now therefore fear the Lord Yahweh and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord Yahweh. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's side, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in which land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's side. Okay? So, that right there is a mouthful, but it's a true, true mouthful. And so, with that, uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, and Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of those those from whom we will, whom constantly learn this 100% truth from. The water to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for helping me get this out. And also, the water to the Akim and Akwa, hopefully, elect of Israel, who's listening. The water. Shadow one.